Have you ever been home and your oven just stops working, but you suddenly get hungry? Well, I'm hungry and my oven went out. Like the power literally won't turn on, but I'm hungry and I need to eat some food or I'm gonna pass out. So what better way to cook than to use the oven in the sky? AKA the sun. It's not out right now, but it's basically a hot ball of renewable energy that emits heat all the time. Which means if I play my cards right, I'll be having a nice dinner. Let's run through the agenda. Step one, to use the sun to cook means I'll need to create something that can actually be heat up by the sun. This is where the solar cooker comes into play. Well, this is just a regular old box, so I need to build the solar cooker, obviously. <laughs> but all a solar cooker does is use the sun's energy to cook your food. Well, it actually uses all these little makeshift mirrors to reflect and gather all the light within your cooker, which leads to a greenhouse effect where the glass and plastic, depending on what you use, traps the hot air but allows more light to pass through, therefore slow cooking the food. Now step two, spawn in the box. Three, get aluminum foil because that's what's gonna allow us to use the sunlight to reflect and bounce into the solar cooker. And number four, saran wrap and tape. And that's literally all you need to make one. Plus these items also, I forgot to mention. So let's get to it, because I'm hungry. So basically what I have to do is wrap this entire thing in aluminum foil. But first, I need to put a smaller box in here and cover it up with basically insulation so the heat will conduct and it'll get super hot, like a real oven. So add insulation and done. Then add aluminum foil and done. But I forgot one thing. I should probably tell you what I'm cooking though, because I haven't done that yet. I'm making my favorite food. I'm making a Detroit style pizza. The thing about a Detroit style pizza is that it needs 500 degrees to cook for about 15 minutes. With this being a solar cooker, if I can get to at least to half that, which is 250, then I will be able to cook this. It's going to be a test. I'm going to be sitting out in the sun. Let's put the paper in here. And let's get it cooking. Well, actually tomorrow, because I got to wake up and wait for the sun because it's rainy outside. Shut up. So I added the construction paper and here's what we created. Look at that. Listen, it looks kind of legit. Okay, but to make a pizza in this, I'm gonna have to make the pizza dough today because I'm gonna wake up and start cooking the pizza immediately and get this shit. So I made a pizza dough that even Guy Fieri himself will be proud of. I mean, look at that dough. dough control. Cheese control. And sauce control. And with everything prepped for tomorrow, I I can make the world's best son pizza. Best believe it. Tell your mother and your father too. It was time to get some shout out for my big day tomorrow. Let's go make a pizza. Grease the pan. Get a small portion of dough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it more on the thinner side because I don't know how long it's gonna take to cook. So I flattened the dough, I added the yummy cheese, added the sauce, and then I added pepperoni, of course. And it was time to put it in the box. I had saran wrap and tape and take it beautifully outside to get it started. Uh, it's a little bit more sunny than we expected, but it's kind of still snowing. Uh... So we're gonna see if we cook today. My guess is five hours. And with that, the cooking in the race was officially started. And within the first hour, I was already seeing things. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I don't know if I'm seeing steam this early on. It might just be frost, but if it's steam, then I got a good feeling about this. You see, in order for me to keep the piece of steam during the entire duration of cooking it, meant I would need to carefully follow the sun and continuously move the solar cooker to directly face the sun as the time went on. And even the NPCs yeah. in the neighborhood were pretty interested in this entire concept I was doing. A little too much. I'm moving, I'm moving. And at the hour two mark, I checked the heat again. I kid you not, I just looked in there right now and I can swear that I think the cheese is melting. It's kind of hard to see with the steam, but I'm trying to get a better shot so you can actually see that it's cooking. Like it's low key melting in there and the pepperonis are starting to pop up, which usually happens when a piece is cooking. As you can see, the sun is cooking, it's hot, it's cloud free and it is, you know, it's ready to do some fucking work. Or so I thought, cause I mean, you can literally see a cloud right there. Plus some more clouds came on later on that I recorded and that kind of slowed my cooking process down. There was one too many clouds messing up the integrity of the solar cooker. We only have a limited time slot to get this thing cooked, which means I'm gonna need double the sun power. It was time to initiate plan contingency. So remember when I said I was going to bed? Well, I lied, and I actually made a second solar cooker, a parabolic solar cooker, which is basically a circle. Kind of like the subscribe button, so please hit it and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. And here's what mine looked like. Oh, one second, there's a plane. Oh. I made this while you weren't looking. Uh, double the sun power. I need this thing to cook. Spam, let them cook in comments. So I set it up for hour three and I went back to more waiting. And since it was 11 o'clock, I got a quick workout in too. And during hour four, I kid you not, after checking the temperature of the extra solar cooker, it just didn't help at all. It didn't contribute anything to the cooking. The second solar power cooker did not come in handy. So I'm gonna take it down. So we're just gonna have to rely on this. And with that gone, I meant I had to wait outside longer for my pizza just to cook. 
So I've been out here for about four hours now and I'm not seeing a crazy amount of progress. So I'm gonna give it two more hours to see if I can get at least some type of brown crust because the crust still looks very like, it still looks, looks like it's dull. But uh, I mean, it is the sun and it is 45 degrees outside. I don't think I've mentioned that before, but the cheese is melted and the pepperonis are cupping. So I'm gonna give it at least six hours. That still gives me hope. I will have dinner today. So I sat for a little bit longer and during the lead up to hour five, I noticed that the steam was leaking out. So I tried to fix it. Tape, I have to keep putting tape on because if I don't trap the heat in it, then it's gonna get colder. That's the reason why it's kind of steamy and has bubbles. So uh, about the five hour mark now. Also added extra reflections in the hope that it will help it cook even faster. Then the six hour came. I have officially crossed the six hour mark. Now what that means is that I might be done. The cheese is looking kind of golden brown and I'm actually kind of excited to see what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna take this inside and we're gonna see if we got dinner tonight. It was time for the final reveal to see if I actually cooked a pizza with the sun. I've never seen this done before, but I wanted to be the first. Let's see what we have here. I can still put some heat. Oh, oh my God, it's actually hot on the bottom. Oh my God, it actually cooked. <laughs> oh shit. Well, this part didn't cook, but this part cooked. I'm just ripping it off. Let me just taste it. <coughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's pretty good. Is it worth it for six hours? Yeah, I'd make this again. This actually has so much flavor. I mean, come on. He's made a piece up with the sun. Until next time, that's it.